poems force you to write them. The way sirens force their way through window panes in the night and you can't shut out the news, even when you try. Write a humanizing poem, my pen and paper goad me. Show them how wrong their preconceptions are, be relatable. Write something upbeat for a change, crack a smile. Tell them how you also cry at the end of Toy Story 3 and you're just as capable of bantering about the weather in the post office queue. Like everyone, you have no idea how to make the perfect amount of pasta, still. Feed them stories of stoic humour. Make a reference to childhood. Tell an anecdote about being frugal, mention the X Factor. Be domestic, successful, add layers. Tell them you know brown boys who cry. About the sides of Assad's, Amir's and Hassan's, they don't know the complex inner worlds of Samea's and Aisha's. Tell them comedies as well as tragedies. How full of life we are, full of love. But no, I put my pen down. I will not let that poem force me to write it because it is not the poem I want to write. It is the poem I have been reduced to. Reduced to proving my life is human because it is relatable. Valuable because it is recognisable. But good GCSEs, family and childhood memories are not the only things that count as a life. Living is. So this will not be a Muslims are like us poem. I refuse to be respectable. Instead, love us when we're lazy. Love us when we're poor. Lovers in our back-to-backs, council estates, depressed, unwashed and weeping. Lovers high as kites, unemployed, joyriding, time-wasting, failing at school. Lovers filthy, without the right colour passports, without the right sounding English. Lovers silent, unapologising, shopping in Poundland, skiving off school, unsure, homeless, sometimes violent. Lovers when we aren't athletes, when we don't bake cakes, when we don't offer our homes or free taxi rides after the event when we're wretched, suicidal, naked and contributing nothing. Love us then. Because if you need me to prove my humanity, I'm not the one that's not human. My mother... My mother texts me too after BBC News alerts. Are you safe? Let me know you're home okay. And she means safe from the incident, yes, but also from the after effects. So sometimes I wonder, which days of the week might I count as liberal and which moments of forehead to the ground am I conservative? I wonder, when you buy bombs, is there a clear difference between the deadly ones that kill and the heroic ones which scatter democracy? I wonder, is it not guilty until proven innocent? How can we kill in the name of saving lives? How can we illegally detain in the name of maintaining the law? I can't write it. I put my pen away. I can't, I won't write it. Is this radical? Am I radical? Because there is nowhere else left to exist now.